Praise the Lord, everyone. I hope you're all doing good. My fiance Lisa is behind the camera here. She's gonna voice for me. Last time she was sitting with me. It was a little bit harder for her to see from the side. So she's gonna sit across me so she can see clearly. Oh, I'll be gonna to just be by her beauty, okay? <laughs> He's lying, everyone. Just kidding. He loves me. <laughs> I really hope you enjoyed your time with your mothers yesterday. So we were just driving a few minutes ago and we seen a church sign that said, there's no love like a mother's love. Thanks moms. And I was just like, wow, you know, it's very true. Moms are very spe special. And moms, you know, they give birth and take care of us. And I was just like, wow, you know, even though my mom's in heaven, I can still say I love you. And of course, Lisa's mom too. She's very precious and we look forward to her becoming my mother-in-law. So yesterday I was holding, you know, a thought. We were, you know, planning to make a vlog, but it was a very busy Mother's Day. But today is a little bit more relaxed. We're here in Oklahoma City. We're gonna go visit Lisa's sister and we're gonna take some more engagement pictures. So we're looking forward to that. We're gonna look at the scripture in Genesis 3 and verse 15. You ready? Yes, I am ready. So God is speaking to the serpent here. It says, and I will put enmity between the separation between you, the serpent, and her. We're talking about Eve here. It shall bruise the serpent's head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. So it was God's plan to make Eve a very special woman, and women in all generations, very special, to where they can give birth. Says, be fruitful and multiply. And that's what the devil doesn't like. God had a plan to save us. There's a lot of people on this earth now. We're going to hold, we're going to go to Ephesians chapter 1, verse 5. windy out here so we're gonna lay the Bible down because it's well my pages everywhere so we're gonna use my my iPad app here so again Ephesians 1 and 5 it says having predestinated so predestinated us and you that are watching doesn't matter your color of skin, white, black, brown, yellow, red, doesn't matter. Whatever language, doesn't matter. Whatever culture, doesn't matter. He has predestined us unto the adoption of children. I love that word, adoption. God wanted to adopt us. The enemy wants to abort you the dark side of things we don't want to support that God made a plan for adoption of children by or through Jesus Christ to himself so again we're all children of God and so Jesus Christ to himself adopted us according to the good pleasure of his will okay so adoption that is his good pleasure it's 
what he wants. The dark side or the evil side is the option. They want the, the abortion of things. They want to destroy our bodies, our souls, our minds. That's of the world. And God doesn't like that. God wants to adopt. And how does he do that? Through repentance. Baptism in the name of Jesus Christ for remission of your sins. And he gives us the gift. Again, that gift means it's free. Gift of the Holy Ghost. Adam was the first man on earth. And it was the first sin. And that got disconnected from God. So how do we reconnect? Jesus became flesh and came down and he died for our sins and rose again. So again, it says, unto the adoption of children by Jesus Christ to himself. And we were born again. We were born into sin. And some of you are like, well, how do I be born again? We were born through Jesus Christ. Verse 6 says, to the praise of the glory of his grace mercy and his love and his grace he gives God gives us love and mercy and his grace and he adopts us yes this world is dark and we don't always understand evil of the world and how they want to abort things. So let's go back to Genesis. Yes, going back to chapter 3. That's why the devil can't stand got that bruised hill. So the time Jesus was born, the devil tried to kill him multiple times, but he was unsuccessful. And finally Jesus became man and he lived until he was 33 and you know, gave up his life on the cross. It was his will for us to be adopted, not aborted by, by Satan. Let's go ahead and pray. Oh, Heavenly Father, I pray that you touch each and every heart and you lead them to your church. Where Jesus says, I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it and cannot destroy where we can repent in the name of Jesus we can be baptized in the name of Jesus and we receive the gift of the Holy Ghost and that pushes away the evil we love the name of Jesus Christ